what to do with leftovers is something that's been going on for a quite a long time. But to deal with it in our modern era here in the 21st century, we've invited Henry Alford, food writer for The New York Times, and our dear friend here at The Takeaway, Melissa Clark, also food writer for The New York Times, who brought some goodies for us. When you've got something in the fridge and have to decide whether you can serve it to guests, for instance, or whether it's time to put it in the garbage, these are ethical, moral issues. All. It's a kiss and a slap to be served uh, leftovers because on the one hand the person is saying you know we have this family style relationship and I like you I feel intimately enough with you that that I can give you stuff that's <laughs> so, so you're better <laughs> friends you bring like uh, you know meatloaf to right? exactly <laughs> that's been licked a, a strangers <laughs> yes, strangers the cat. steak yeah, yeah, all yeah. the way so Melissa you have so much more courage than I do. I have to say, I thought about this long and hard, trying to imagine a scenario where I would have guests over to my house and I would, under any circumstances, serve leftovers, even some delicious leftovers. I, I could not imagine. I would never do it. Never, ever. Well, it's all about recreating the leftovers. You want to reincarnate them into something new and delicious. And, you know, you take the old delicious and you turn it into something new and delicious. Um, rule number one is don't tell anybody. Rule number two is take something that you've got and make it into something even better. So, for example, what I brought you guys today is a little right. nibble. That is a Spanish tortilla, and this is um, actually third-generation leftovers. So, um, yes, this is what I did. So I went out to dinner a few days ago to the Standard Grill, fabulous, and I had duck fat fried potatoes. Uh, Loved them, I didn't finish them. them brought them home, right? So I've got leftovers from dinner out. Then last night I took those leftovers. I chopped up some onions and I got them really golden brown and caramelized. Yep. I added the potatoes and then I added some eggs and turned it into a Spanish tortilla. You made this from it. Uh, exactly. And yep. that's what we had for dinner last night. And that's what you guys are then, having right? for breakfast. It was <laughs> hot then. It's cold now. Well, but Spanish tortilla is traditionally served cold at tapas bars. So therefore, it's a perfect leftover. The, the principle of leftovers is you, you take what you got, what's left over, and you make it better. I mean, stroganoff is that, right? It's, it's spoiled Russian meat yeah. turned into a great sort of side dish. Yeah, or bubble and squeak, or coal cannon, or yep. hash, any of these things. No, that that there is this great tradition of of leftovers. It just, again, as soon as you bring it into the social arena, you know, it's sort of Pandora's box as to what what's the proper etiquette. <laughs> what What's the diciest leftover story that you encountered in your article for well the time. i've got one woman in portland oregon who told who had a party to celebrate her marriage and one of the guests showed up with a mason jar filled with this kind of brown oozing sludge and a little note on the on the mason jar said uh this chocolate zucchini bread was a failed experiment but perhaps you will like it happy marriage henry can i can i can i ask this 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 etiquette and intimacy of leftover seems not to apply for some reason to barbecue. I've just figured out it. Yeah, it seems like it's a little There's different. No problem there. No, and that's it's uh, that's actually perfect that that happened with barbecue because of course um, soul food. You know, pretty much everything we think of as soul food, the the ham hocks and chitlins, that stuff all came out of leftovers. That, right. that originally a lot of that stuff there was the yes yeah, stuff that right. slave owners were giving to their slaves. Let's take it out on on this. It seems as though all the technology in food service, the development of Tupperware, of uh, preservatives, of uh, refrigeration, actually designed to make safe leftovers and extend the life of food, in fact, complicates our lives in this question. It does complicate it because then you have the question of, it's been in your fridge for how many days? Can I still eat it? What should I do with it? I actually, there was a time there when I would go to my mother's house and I would go through her fridge and take things out because I knew she had to finish everything. She had to turn that leftover into some sort of dish. It was in a Tupperware container and I thought, you know, this is borderline. I'm just going to throw it out. So it's it's made us feel like we have to finish it. Right. And you know what? You can throw it out if it's turning bad. Even if it's it leftover, throw it out. Henry Alford, <laughs> food writer for the New York Times. The issue is the thorny question of leftovers in the New York Times. And Melissa Clark, food writer for the Times, our dear friend. Thanks so much for this Spanish tortilla. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Leftovers, Tom, huh? All right. We got, we got about 20 minutes.